All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, kind of glad to hear how you guys were treating me in the last video. So I'm going to get out there again, and I'm going to try and get some fish this time. Um, I don't really care how stubborn they are. I'm going to try and be more determined. If you guys are new here, go back, watch my last video. You'll kind of get an understanding where the attitude's at today. That's kind of going to be a seek, seek and destroy kind of day. Um, I just need to catch some fish. So if you're seeing this, hopefully... We got on some fish. All right, guys. So I made it. It's getting sunny out. Um, this lake is really good when it's sunny. So that's something you want to keep in mind here. Um, last time I was out here, it was really cloudy and crappy all day, and it makes it really hard bite. Hopefully, the snow is not too deep because it did snow really hard, and uh, I don't get stuck. Otherwise. Uh, one thing, merch. I haven't said anything this year yet, um, but I do want to make a mention that if you guys want to help support the channel, help me get out here, um, make up for all the days that I drive out, and you don't, you guys don't even see it a lot of the times. I'll spend you know five, six hundred dollars in gas, and you guys don't see the fact that I did that because I didn't make a video for the day. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing those videos where I just like go somewhere and just blank and like the whole day goes to crap. I'll try to put them together if I can stomach the, the sickness of not being successful for the day. But otherwise, support, link in the description. Um, it's real simple. I got a bunch of options for merch, so you guys go check those out. Otherwise, let's get out there and uh, let's catch some fish. Okay, first things first this morning. The commander is coming out and I am going to try to use this sun to my advantage and stick a big walleye. If that doesn't work in a little bit of time here, I'm gonna have to go on the search again. But my fingers are crossed that I can stick at least one big walleye today. So. Here comes one, right up off the bottom. I got him up to 15 feet and 24 feet of water. Let's <laughs> see if he keeps coming. He's still streaking. That's crazy. 10 feet. Oh, I got that fish all the way up to five feet. That was a big walleye. Oh, I had one come in suspended. He's coming. coming fast
I'm wondering if this number five is too big. It's a really big walleye. It's like anything after 26 inches would crush this, but uh, I don't know. I might have white bass, big crappie, or even like medium sized smaller walleye that are coming up chasing this thing and they just won't commit because of the size possibly. So if, I, if this happens again, I'm going to change baits. Okay, so I switched it to this uh, number four glow again. Um, I had a number five pink UV and they were chasing it, but they just wouldn't commit to it. So I figured I'd downsize and uh, maybe change the color, see what happens. I have a pink UV in this color too, so or size. So let's see if they'll chase it. Fish? Came in hot. Oh, yep, hit me. Just so I don't have to pay attention to my uh, tip-ups, I'm going to put my uh, my vultures on them. That way I can sit and jig in peace and not have to keep an eye on them. Alright, so the cool thing about these things really is... So I can test this. So this is number five actually. Um, I'm going to stick number one over here and uh, you just put the, this little magnet on here sets the alarm off. They're pretty neat. So I did this little weird thing. I found a bungee, little bungee cord thing and uh, the way I want to set it up is so that this comes off of here really easily. So I can just stretch this around this flag right here. And then, uh, just like that, so when the flag pops, it'll rip the magnet off, it'll stay on there, and then the fish can run with it, and, uh, yeah, I'll know which one I got. Makes it really simple to keep track of your flags. Not sure what this is. Oh. Feels like a walleye. It's because it is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys had me discouraged for a second there. <laughs> There's a big one. Oh, did I, I got him to come up.
Got him. Second one on the precision. <laughs> I think we put a pattern together. <laughs> they like this gold spoon. There was two of them down there too. Wonder how big this guy is. All right, so that guy's 14, and they keep they're nailing this uh, spoon. I'll show you guys the spoon I'm using in a second. I don't know if they make it anymore, but. If I can get a couple more of these guys, I'll be really happy today. So like I said, I switched to this gold, uh, this, I think that's a varmint from JB Lures. And uh, just a small minnow head on it, and it's been killing them. Uh, it's kind of cool to see them actually react to what I'm doing after all these times I've been out here and not getting any kind of reaction. So hopefully I can get a couple more of these guys before I got to go. I think there's a fish on there. <laughs> I was just checking this. It was stuck back. I think this fish might have uh, either swallowed this. Yeah. Little guy. Well, hopefully I can rescue this dude, but this is why you check your tip ups. <laughs> Got this guy's attention. Oh. That felt like a bigger fish. Oh. Not entirely sure what this is. Another d decent walleye. Look at that. I can hold on to him for two seconds. It might be another keeper. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys can see all this going on. As you can see, I have like one light. That's the window over here and the window behind me. Um, these guys are coming in like crazy right now. I'm going to try and get a couple more. I have two in the live well right now. Um... And I think I let go three little guys. So we're on five fish. I can do math. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to catch fish right now. You guys, I hope you guys have an understanding of like correlating. All right, there's more fish down there. I'm going to get back to fishing, less talking. Gotta hurry up and get back down there. I think there's another one down there. Yep. And they're feeding. I think I hit the bite window. <laughs> All right, I feel better now. Hopefully, you guys can see this. It's pretty dark in here. Not quite as big, but I mean, five walleyes, six walleyes, whatever I'm on for numbers, I am happy. I'm happy! <laughs> and I feel rushed because these guys are showing up like crazy so quickly.
That guy's too small. Okay, I was actually wrapping up things and then the monster came off the bottom here. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> it's putting my precision through a workout. Hopefully you guys can see this. I had to put my freaking GoPro on and open up the shack so you guys could see everything and I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I land it. Looks like a giant walleye. Oh my god! <laughs> I barely had it hooked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that, a little tiny spoon and a minnow head. Oh. This thing's obviously going back, but I'm so glad I was able to get the GoPro on for a second. God, I gotta weigh this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna weigh her real quick. I have her in the live well thing. I'm so happy I have the live well. Um, I'm gonna say seven to eight pounds at least. I have a scale, it works. It's on pounds, kilograms. Hopefully we can switch it back. Okay, she's on pounds now. Eight pounds, one ounce. <laughs> 27. Might be a little bit over, but I'm gonna get her back real quick here. I don't wanna beat her up. <laughs> really? Okay, so you guys are gonna see this first, but I, I did my outro <laughs> and I dropped down because I saw a big fat log mark on the bottom. <sighs> it's so weird how things can just flip flop like that. Jesus. All right, let's send you to the outro. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's getting dark out. I still got a long ways to run in. Um, I just wanted to say thank all you guys. I really do want to thank all you guys for sticking around, uh, encouraging me to get back out. Uh, if I wouldn't have been encouraged to get back out, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now because I wasn't doing it. <laughs> I wasn't feeling it. 
I missed like three or four trips and I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, but this one kind of makes up for it. Uh, like some of you guys have said before, and I always used to say this and it, I always used to make it so or seem so cliche, but it really is. If you don't catch fish every time you're out and then you have a really good day like today, it just feels better. <laughs> so always keep that in mind. I hope uh, I hope uh, my determination sh you know, shared with you guys and getting back out, doing it again and again and again uh, until I succeeded. Uh, spreads spreads around so get out there enjoy some fishing this the season's here uh, we've got some good ice uh, still got to travel a little bit but I'm okay with that and like I said at the beginning of this video if you guys want to help support me you can go down on the link and in, uh, in the description where my merch is and pick up some merch um, I I mean I already appreciate all the support you guys give me but if you guys could rep some merch and help me out there I would greatly appreciate it Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, could you please just remember to?